Hello everybody. Hallowed One sent me a mesh with a basketball basket with which he was not happy and he asked if I could give some advice and I thought the easiest thing is to make a little tutorial. So let me start with control clicking on the cylinder here and R key to resize it, uh, make it a bit more squarish, like so. Then I bring out a fall off, a linear fall off, and make it symmetric on the end and ease in. Then bring it down from here. So this is zero, this is zero as well. Then the R key and make this hourglass shape, which basketballs usually have something like. So then I bring down the fall off to about here and the top to about so, like this. Get rid of the fall off and now I can select these two edges, up arrow key, L for loop, backspace, delete. And I mark this middle edge here to make sure I know where I start. And then go to vertex mode, select these vertices here. And make, press shift O to make an open curve from the vertex selection. Then I can go to polygon mode, invert the selection, control X. N for a new mesh, control V and call this new mesh uh, original. And the existing one will be our basket. And I bring it below here. Okay, we don't need to see this. Then I can go to Duplicate, mirror over the X, apply, and then go to duplicate radial array, count of 24 around the Y, end angle 360, action center origin, and click in the viewport. No, that's too many. I make it 12. I could use any number here, but then I would have to uh, do something special for the replicators. But I use 12. Good. That looks nice. Now we can go to Vertex, Merge, Automatic 56, 12, no, that's not right. I go to Vertex Merge, Fixed, we can be generous here, let's say 10 millimeters. Okay, and another 16 have merged, let's do a check. 3 rows at by 12. 36. That sounds good. Okay, now I select all these vertices here, control, copy them, go to a new mesh, control V, and call this new mesh uh, source. Then I go back to the basket, and let's see, select all these 
vertices here, perspective and control P for a closed loop. Yes, that has worked. Nice. Then I select this one, control X, new mesh, control V, and call this ring. <coughs> I do it because I will use uh, render curves and I want to have different different uh, radius on the ring than I want to have on the strings. Okay, now go back to the basket, front view again, and then I go to a sphere, but I think I use a quad ball with a subdivision level of 1, yes, bring it out here and make it 15 millimeters and zero here and go out of sub D mode so it looks a bit like a knot then I use this one control X N for a new mesh control V call this new mesh uh, not and then go to add item uh, particles replicator and in the replicator properties I say the prototype is my not the point source is my source and why don't I see anything uh, maybe I should go to the basket and say render curves 5 millimeters. Still don't see anything. I have render, yes. Uh, on the visibility options, replicators all. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's go to RayGL quickly. Uh, that does not look right. Ah, I know why. The problem is the knot must be exactly in the middle. So, select it and go to center select it all and that looks much better now we can go to the ring and say render curves also here uh, 50 is too much maybe 30 yeah 30 looks not so bad and we can put it up a bit like so so we see the top knots also now we must uh, give all these things uh, material this one is the ring the basket material is uh, strings And the knot material is also strings. Now we can go to the render. Something like this. I give the strings red plastic and the material uh, the ring material is black plastic and an environment this one make it a bit bigger
Mm, something like this. And 888, control enter, F9. And here is the basketball basket. I trust that you all can make the stance yourself. So that's the end of this little tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.